Hi all. With the latest version of Jigsaw, we've also made some major improvements to the Jigsaw chat. To use the chat, you first need your Jigsaw members username and password in the options window on Daytrader. Now don't put your email address in there, please put your Jigsaw username, the one you used when you signed up for Jigsaw. With those there, the chat icon on any of the windows will automatically and securely log you onto the chat. So let's take a look at that. Okay, there I am logged in. Now let's just take you over some of the main features of the chat. Uh, on the left here, you can see your profile in the account there. You can set up your own avatar. The magnifying glass here helps you find people that you've already uh, had discussions with. The directory shows all the channels. Now please, if you're gonna come here because you've got a problem with the product, please use a support channel. I do watch that, Dave does watch that, to ask support questions. The trade chat is really for the trading talk. The, excuse me, the mode of text here just controls how you actually see the text on the screen, whether you want it all condensed, which I actually prefer, um, or you want extended text. And on the left, if we go there, let's just go back to the chat. Uh, on the right hand side, rather, not the, not the left, um, you can see different threads that have been created here with the talk bu bubble. You can actually search for specific text in discussion. So if we're looking for depth, for instance, we can find that within the chats. And on the right there, you can see the registered users. These are the people that have actually logged on and used the chat before. It's 4 a.m. US time here, so as you can see, most of them are in bed. And then you've also got a bunch of miscellaneous options here. Now, on the messages themselves, you can actually see some icons over here on the right hand side. If you click the little smiley face with probably not a big surprise, it takes you to the emoticons you can use on a post. So if you like somebody's post, you can put an emoticon on it. And then there's other miscellaneous options here. Uh, you do have the ability to edit and delete your own posts. If you do delete posts, it will just say deleted there. And I think if you edit posts, there is a little mark to say this has been edited. Now, mostly this is self-explanatory. Uh, you can chat directly with other users just by double clicking on that username. And basically it's a big improvement over the old chat. And um, well, I'll see you in the chat. Thanks for watching, bye.